Today we're going to be looking at the AI altcoin called iExec RLC. Let's get into it. What's up guys, my name is Aaron and welcome to UX Crypto. I hope all of you are doing well out there. So today we're going to be looking at the AI sweet altcoin gem, you could say, um, called iExec RLC. And uh, you know, I'm wearing orange today because Bitcoin is doing really well and you've got to represent Bitcoin and you know, crap check orange right there and let's get into the video. Bad. Here we are, iExec RLC. And if you haven't heard of it, it is an AI altcoin. Okay, so um, and it's currently ranked. Uh, where is it ranked? Let's have a little look. It's ranked at number six. All right, am I correct with that? Yep, yeah, number six on AI altcoins in Coin Gecko. So you know, pretty high on the list. And uh, yeah, so let's have a little look. So the current price is one dollar sixty nine, and um, the market cap is uh, one hundred and twenty two million. Okay, um, and once upon a time we had an all-time high of um, fifteen dollars to be precise. So already like one dollar sixty-nine. So you could like ten x your money right there just from uh, you know doing that, or nine x I think it is around about. Yeah, so you could nine x near enough your money from going back to all-time high. But what is this project? Should we look into it? Yes, I think we should. So here we go. Web3 marketplace built on Web3 apps, trade computing assets, preserve ownership and privacy. Okay, really nice. So let's do a little video. So let's uh, check out the video. In today's interconnected world, everyone has value to share. As technology continues to innovate exponentially, the need for computing resources is greater than ever. By opening a decentralized marketplace for computing assets, iExec resolves this critical need in the growing digital economy now you can share decentralized computing power, innovative applications, valuable data sets, and much more. Using an emerging technology called confidential computing, assets traded on the marketplace can now be used on any computer connected to the network, even the ones you do not know or trust. At the same time, ownership and privacy of those assets is preserved. The iExec marketplace is a smart contract that acts as escrow anytime you need the network to exchange computing assets. Anyone can connect their computer to the marketplace to execute decentralized applications and earn RLC. Application and data providers can deploy and monetize these valuable assets on the network, getting paid each time they are used. These assets increase in value while being available for anyone to use. The RLC token on the Ethereum blockchain acts as payment between buyers and sellers on iExec. To ensure network consensus, RLC is also locked during computation by workers and pools iExec opens new horizons of cooperation where anyone can benefit from computing assets without having to trust anyone else in the network. Join a new paradigm of shared innovation with iExec, the decentralized marketplace for computing assets. Um, but yeah, one thing, obviously, what I had a little look at this a little bit already is that, yeah, so it's basically oracles, right? So, but they're using AI to make this happen, right? So if you actually look at um, enterprise user cases, I think that was where I went. Yeah, so for example, um, what exactly are they doing? Confidential data for AI. High value data is often a sensitive and confidential nature. As such, it is subject to special protection. So GDPR, as a result, uh, much of this data remains unused. And that's very true. Preventing companies from unlocking a, uh, business opportunities, they're very true. I exec partners with KnowledgeX to support the implementation of the startup decentralized marketplace that puts data scientists and data owners in a trustworthy relationship. So this allows confidential data to be processed by external partners all without ever actually revealing data really cool so i used to actually work in the tech industry and uh well not used to i still do right <laughs> and uh yeah obviously i work for a lot of uk companies i work for loads of different companies all around the world and um i can see the difference so for example in india i worked for an indian company before and uh, they don't have gdpr it's a lot easier to gather data um it's a lot easier to do things with your obviously your users um there's not as much limitations, but for example, UK companies what I've worked for, yes, this is a really big thing, GDPR, which does get in the way. Um, and obviously if you wanted to change your service, let's say one little thing in your service, you want to change it, pivot to do something else or something like that, right? Then you have to let all your customers know and um, you can't, you might lose them as a client, right? And uh, yeah, basically you can't just do what you want as a business with your customers' data. And that's fair enough. Like, you know, there is meant to be rules in place, but this, what I can see, 
is actually really good. They're trying to tackle that problem, problem what GDPR does. Obviously, it does hinder businesses. You can actually see that, um, I would say. But yeah, really cool. So let's get straight back in and have a little look again. One thing I want to look at is, uh, so we've got a couple of things that are quite interesting. So we've got About Us and they've got to meet the team. So obviously, you've got a big company behind this as well. Um, you know, it's not lovely to see the team because obviously a lot of these projects don't actually reveal some of the, the team behind it. But um, yeah, you can see look, they're a proper company which is doing this, doing a lot of big things and it's nice to see, definitely nice to see. And another thing I did notice here was with the roadmap. So for example, this is like all stuff in progress, I assume, for 2023. And it says web free media and marketing agency. So basically it means you're gonna get a lot of market behind this, right? And uh, obviously it's 2023 and it hasn't happened yet. And obviously you've got Dunn's column and things that they have done but you know, we're looking for this to come up. Um, so you've got developer bounties, season three, and then you've got different versions coming in. Um, and, but yeah, this one looks very interesting because obviously you might see the bags pump, all right? <laughs> so nice. Yeah, so something as well. So they've got their own marketplace for data. So web free marketplace for computing assets. So basically that is what this is. It's a marketplace for different oracles, you could say, and, and different data sources. And you can create oracles as well. So um, yeah. Basically, you can, you've got marketplaces here and you can create oracles very easily on this site, which is really cool. And uh, yeah, and you can actually create your own pools and uh, you can stake the token. And basically there is something called um, proof of contribution, which you can see here. And what exactly is that? So it is protecting shield of iExec marketplace. It is a consensus algorithm that guarantees protection against um, benzene teen workers okay who could provide bad results to penalize users and users uh, who could uh, are and and users who could argue against legitimate work performed by legitimate workers enforces trust on decentralized network so yeah it's basically if you're doing something you get rewarded for it okay so that's really good so here's the Oracle factory that they have. And uh, and yeah, it's basically looking, showing you the other, the oracles that people have created, um, other users. And yeah, this is some of the stuff that they have created on here. So the price for Matic network and USD. So yeah, little algorithms will, that will help the network. So that's really nice to see that people are using this. So yeah, now you've seen that, obviously I've shown you the cool bits and it uh, looks like a great project, right? Uh, looks like something that has legs, got a big team behind it. And yeah, it looks pretty cool. But obviously we're in this for the money, man. Yeah, we're here because we want to take advantage of the AI trend, right? So what would happen uh, with the price of this coin if obviously we got on a lovely trend for AI in the next bull run, right? Let's have a little look at that and see. Let's have a look. So what we are looking at is iExec RLC price. And um, what we're trying to do is to see what would happen if you know we got into a nice trend. Um, so for example, the current market cap is 122 and uh, million we are talking about, right? Yeah, and uh, we would like to see what would happen if it was to, you know, do really well, right? And, uh, you know, become the next thing, right? And one thing you can look at is comparisons, right? So we're looking at the top 10, top 20, 20 top 30 in terms of coin market cap, or sorry, coin gecko. And, uh, and look, we need a comparison. So I think this one, 100%, we need to compare it with Chainlink, right? Because we're looking at Oracles, obviously AI as well. And uh, and then Oracles back in the day and a lovely trend. But, um, you know, to be very uh, transparent about this. So look, the market cap of uh, Chainlink is currently 3 billion, 500 million, okay? So at this current moment, and look, we haven't had a major boom or anything yet. We've just coming out of the bear market. And uh, yeah, that's the current price, but you know, so, but based on that, we know that we could get to that market cap, right? Is that a possibility? Chainlink in the bull run will probably get way bigger market cap, right? We kind of know that, that this is gonna increase, but we can benchmark it against this right now. So what if it was to take over Chainlink's market cap at its current moment, right? What would the price be? So we know this is 3.5 billion, right? And then uh, we know this is 122 million. So let's get our calculator and see what we can do. So if we've got 100 and, 120 million, right? And then I think this is, well, I'm just gonna round this up, but I'm gonna say this is gonna be a 30X. So we're gonna say 
and there you go 3.6 right that in terms of we're talking about millions right so if you was to make these all millions this would be three billion six hundred million right and then if you look at the market cap back at chain link then yeah look we're very close to that right so yeah 30x not bad at all so what do you think 30x for this coin would you think that is possible i think it actually has legs and it could do something like that right the only thing i would say what i would love to see on this project is i would love to see some partnerships right if they can get to a point where you can see partnerships then i think this could really go up the list and uh yeah it could probably get to those things because for example with, with uh, Chainlink, you know we did see a lot of partnerships happen back then and then it's just added to the partnerships you keep seeing partnerships happening with it um, and that really drove the price up, right? So I would say the same thing with this coin. Um, yeah, for you to see those really lovely prices, we need to see some partnerships. So yeah, uh, hopefully we'll see that in the coming months or year. But um, yeah, if you really enjoyed this video and you liked it, then uh, you know, let me know in the comments down below. Consider subscribing, give the video a like, and also you know, I do loads of reviews on AI coins. This is kind of my thing, right? Uh, I love AI coins, and uh, yeah, if you really think that this has potential as well, then check out this video here. And this is another AI AI altcoin with absolute legs. Okay, so check it out. And if I don't see you, I'll see you at the top. Bam. <laughs>